Now to test your learning so far, I'm going to give you guys a little challenge. But before that, I just want to show you guys something about the humanoid. Remember, every player has a player inside players, and they have a character inside the workspace. And we can use get player by character by passing in this model as a parameter, and it'll return this player. But that's besides the point. In the workspace, if you look inside your character, you'll find a humanoid. This humanoid holds a lot of properties about your character. For example, when you jump, this value goes true, and when you sit, this value goes true. Along with that, it also holds your jump height and your walk speed. However, the property we want to focus on is health. When health is set to zero, it kills your player. Now that you know this, see if you can modify this code to kill the player. Go ahead and try it out in Roblox Studio, pause the video right now, and I'll reveal the answer in a couple seconds. Don't worry if you couldn't figure it out, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this in a script right now. Let's say we wanted to make this green part kill players when they touch it. The first thing we do is get a variable for the green part, and we know that in the object browser under part is an event called touched. That means we can use that event in the script. Let's write green part dot touched colon connect function. Clicking inside of here tells us there's another part. And remember, when using touched, we usually just call it a hit. However, no matter what you name it, it's going to give us the exact same thing, the part that touched the green part. I want to use get player from character, so let's go ahead and create a variable for the player service local player equals players colon get player from character hit dot parent if you don't understand this line feel free to go back in the video and learn this section again now let's check if there's a player remember if the part is inside of a model and that model is not a player then player will just be nil here so let's do if player then and now inside this code we can assume that the player variable actually belongs to a player inside players and what i've done here is use find first child to check if there's a humanoid inside the player and then if there is a humanoid we're going to set its health to zero Obviously, since it is a player, we can already assume that there's going to be a humanoid, but just for extra safety, we can use Find First Child. Let's go ahead and try this out in-game. Walking over to the green part, it does in fact kill me, and that's because of the code I just wrote. So remember guys, don't worry if you weren't able to get this, it's a little bit complicated, but now that you know, I'm sure that you would be able to do it if you were to be asked again. 